So the first lab we are focusing on Samba and how to implement the Samba on Debian. So I'm opening terminal. Uh, let me make it bigger. So what we are doing, the steps are like that. So sudo dash s ping four two two four to see that we have internet. It's okay. So then app get install Samba. So we are installing Samba servers now. Then here at this step, you go to the root like that. And M called DIR Samba share. So I'm creating folder Samba share. But to give a permission to write on that folder, you change the permission 777 Samba share. So look now, this one, uh, this actually do ls ls dash l, so it gives you that better idea that okay this one has a read write execute permission. Configuration of Samba is located under here etc samba smb dot com. You see that the configuration is located here. At the end of this configuration, you can define your uh, shares or share folder, whatever you want to share. So I'm going to go at the end of, you can go use a page down to go at the end of this file. So that's at the end of the file. And what you start, that's the share name. So you put it here, Samba share like that. So that's your share folder name. And then you put your comment here. So that's like a description. That's Samba uh, on Debian. So then paths, where is that folder is located? So it is Samba share folder is located under slash read only. Do you want to have a write or read only? Read only, no, that means that you can write also on them. Browsable, so that means that you can have a browsing on this folder, yes. Guest, okay, that means that guest can access this folder. Also, I put yes. So this configuration, I control X, yes. And now, if you want, to restart the Samba services, you do service SMD restart. So you restart the service of SMD. Test Parm, it will tell you that you have done correctly or not. That's a kind of testing for Samba protocol. You see that file services is okay. Um, it will tell you that that's your configuration that you have done so far. And my configuration is located at the last one. If you do SMB status, doesn't have anything. Net status share, right? Doesn't have anything. But I'm gonna do one of the, so if you check it, check the IP address here, IP address. So IP address is 192.168. 191.36. I'm going to also check the networking here. This one is NAT. So this is Windows 10 for verification of your Samba, that what you have done is correctly or not. So uh, this one also is NAT. And I put this IP at 192.168.199.136. So it's like that, 192. 16A, 199, 136. So something happens, um, 
If you, you get error, if you get error, you should enable Samba services on the SMB services on the control panel. So here you see that I can see that share folder. Also, I can create a folder that's or high. Under here, also I can create a file from Windows. Okay, so let's see that we can see this folder or not. So I'm here ls under this folder cd samba share ls look high folder is there, and I can see the file also cd high is also here from Windows. You see that easily we can reach to this folder. And now if you do SMB status, you see that it will show you that, okay, you reach to hide at this time, you surf on this um, folder. So these are like your, your logs for this one. Net share, net status share, status shares also shows that, okay, you have reached to this folder, Samba share from this IP address at this time. So these are like logs that is created for me. Now let's make it more interesting. So let's say you want to create a folder which is not accessible by guests. So I'm gonna create a folder like data and I give 777 to data. So now data is located here. Okay. So then now go under nano etc samba and smb.conf. This file. Go down the end of this file. Now we're going to create a new share. And we call this one as a data. So this time, the path is different. Um, is located under dat slash data. Valid users. That means that only this user is, is using this folder, Hamid. I create user Hamid later. Browsable. Yes, I read only, no, create, mask. That's like creating a permission for this folder and the directory. Directory mask is 0777. So that's my configuration for this part. And I'm going to restart. You can do this one also, system, CTL, restart, SMBD. So we don't have that user, right? So user at Hamid. Pass WD, Hamid, pass WD, it will change the Hamid password. So I set the password here. I retype it. And then now, um, also let's do this one, SMB, that's for the database of um, um, Samba, dash A Hamid. So I, I put the same password. Okay. So now let's come back to Windows 10. What was my IP address here? I forgot it. 192.168.136.199.136. So let's look at data folder. It's asking for username. And if I put the username and the password, it allows me to access this folder and create a file. Like Hamid from uh, Windows. And now, if you do SMB stat, SMB status, so it will tell you that, okay, you access to data folder. And if you do net status,
net status shares. So then uh, it says that there is no, or maybe shares, yeah, is here from your access to this data pool. So it's like a log showing you what you have access uh, from the other operating system. So actually that concludes this lab uh, for Sandbox.